Okay, so while the car is up on ramps, there's a bunch of other service tasks uh, I wanted to get done, and it makes sense to do them now. Uh, one of them is uh, changing the uh, automatic transmission filter pan. So the fluid that came out, because I emptied it um, when we took the gearbox out, it's empty, there's no fluid in there now. There's a bit of fluid still in the actual box and half, half a torque converter's worth of old fluid in there, but what we're gonna do is remove the whole filter pan and fill it back up again and then go through the fill procedure once we've got the engine actually running uh, because you need the uh, the engine to run to get the oil, uh, the fluid pumped up and get the fluid filled up to the correct level and uh, between the right temperature ranges and all the rest of it. So first thing to do, um, sort of undoing something I did already is um, the exhaust bracket, I don't know if you can quite see there. The fill plug is right here. It's a right pain in the ass to get to with this exhaust hanger in the way so the easiest thing to do is to get these two 13 mil bolts off uh, this is just finger tight now just going to take this one out and um, swivel that out the way like this the exhaust not going to go anywhere it's uh, all bolted back into place there and the supports further back are still holding it so that'll just hang out of the way and uh, I don't know if you can quite see from that location where you are there you just need an allen key whatever size it is to get to there we're going to undo that and then we're going to take the filter pan off. Okay, just showing you up at the fill point at the side here. It is really quite cramped on this particular car. The gap that you've got, or not got, up here in between the edge of the transmission tunnel and where the, uh, where the filler plug is, is really narrow. And um, to put it straight, straight, you're not going to get in there with a, a socket. So you either need a very tight Allen key, and I uh, actually haven't got a full set of Allen keys anymore. Uh, what I've decided to do is use the bit that fits it, but you'll see how tight it is now if I just... Uh... You see how much space there is there? That's, uh, I don't know if you can quite see with the darkness, but there's, I can't even get my finger in between the end of that... Uh, that hex bit and the um, edge of the, the, the tunnel there. So, all I'm gonna do is just stick uh, a ring spanner on the end of it and, uh, and do it that way. And uh, we can loosen it and do it with your fingers. Uh, and then get it out and then get the whole filter pan off. Oh, that's really got some. Fuck, you know. Whew. One fill plug off. Weirdly, that was on there pretty tight. I mean, unusually tight for a transmission filler plug, if you ask me. Yeah, weird. Anyway, it's out now. Time to get all these uh, bolts off. And then uh, away we go. Okay, so I don't know if you remember, but back before anything broke with the timing chain, I bought a load of filter uh, filters and general service parts. And one of them was uh, the filter pan and fluid and everything. And I brought a genuine ZF um, transmission filter pan. And uh, comes with all a new set of bolts and a new filler plug that's in there as well. Um, and uh, the quality for things like filter pans and gaskets, I would advise spending just a few more quid and buying either genuine or very good aftermarket parts. Um, just because it really matters with things like gaskets. That's Somebody asked me about tightening torques and things like that. Personally, for things that... <laughs> per personally... I pay close attention to torque settings for bolts that have things like gaskets um, where there are fluids or pressure behind them because it really matters. If, uh, if you don't tighten in the right sequence to the right torque, you, the whole thing doesn't work or you get a leak and it's a pain in the ass when you've got leaking manifolds, leaking covers, gaskets. Filter pan sumps, nightmare. We're not going to know until I fill the engine up, of course, whether my liquid sealant um, has worked on the, um, the sump 
I think I did a pretty good job, so it should do, but you know, stuff like that's a nightmare. So anyway, long story short, buy, I bought a ZF pan, and that's what we're gonna fit now. So I'm gonna shove him out of the way. We don't need, we don't need the old uh, filler plug that I just took out because you get a new one. And uh, we've got a new full set of bolts, so we don't need to uh, retain those when they come out. Right, let's get them out. Once I've got this last bolt off, I'm going <laughs> to very carefully drop the pan nice and flat. Because there'll be fluid in there still. You know? Right, they're all off. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. Now, over in this corner here is where the stick, uh, <laughs> the feed, uh, I think, there we go, joins the, uh, the gearbox and there's a little O-ring you just need to ever so carefully work free. Oh, there we go. It's trickling down into the filter pan now. If I just pop the pan nice and flat. There's a fair amount of liquid in the pan. There we go. Right, lovely shiny new bolts. All the same, don't worry about mixing them up. Now you can see, if I catch the light just right, here's the pickup, where it's gonna go in. There's a rubber, little rubber seal around the edge, just gonna rub a little bit of uh, transmission fluid, doesn't matter that it's the old stuff. Uh, just around it and then it'll make uh, a nicer seal when it goes in. There we go. I'm just going to pop this up, get it in and do a couple of bolts finger tight and then uh, I should point out as well the gasket comes built in. I don't know if you can quite see there's a, a rubber gasket that's all built in part of the pan so it's uh, Quite a straightforward job, job to just replace the filter pan. There we go. Now there's no order to worry about right this second. I'm literally just putting a couple of bolts in to hold it in place and then we'll torque them up in the correct sequence. 10 Newton meters is the torque you're looking for. Jedi warrior. So here's the old filter pan. You could see it just been dripping. That's the new one. It's literally just got four bolts in the corners just holding them on at the minute. And uh, I'm just gonna shift this out of the way, drain the fluid uh, into a waste container, and uh, then continue to tighten these up. Uh, all my new bolts there in the correct order. Um, there we go. Okay, so it's getting a bit dark, but uh, it's important to talk up to the right uh, right settings. These are all 10 Newton meters. I use my little torque wrench for this one, and uh, I've done most of them up now. What I'm up to this one here, I think this is the next one I'm on now. So yeah, this is just loose at the minute. It's only a very low torque setting, 10 Newton meters. Uh, and actually I find it a bit awkward under here because using these stupid star shape. There you go, we're at that one. Uh, I think this is the next one over here. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Okay, we're gonna give it first fill and uh, we're gonna get it to a point where the filter panel is full 
and then uh, that's about as much as we can do until a bit later when the car comes off its uh, stands. Let's kind of see if we can get in a convenient position. We're going to poke our tube into the hole and we're just going to... No, that would... Uh, that would be not about half, half a syringe full. Okay, let's try again and get a bit more in there this time. Oh, it can't be full. Okay, at this point the gearbox is as full as it can be in stationary mode. Uh, now we need to start the engine so that uh, the torque converter can start spinning and the oil being pumped up through the box and we need to go through the gears and we need to do it between 30 and 50 degrees at the box and that is what uh, my little temperature gun, infrared temperature gun is for. We're just going to keep an eye on the temperature of the filter pan and we need to be fairly quick about it so um we can start the car get stuff pumping around start filling the box and uh, i'll show you what we do I don't know if you can see, we're measuring in the 20s at the moment. We want to be a little going to start filling, even though we're not quite warm enough, because there's quite a lot of fluid to go in. By the time I put a few syringes in, we'll be well over 30 degrees anyway. <laughs> 